This is Car Seat Blog's quick review of the Graco Snug Ride 30 Infant Car Seat. The Snug Ride 30 is the newest infant seat from Graco. Compared to some of the other Graco infant seats, it offers a more squarish base design that can help if you are installing the Snug Ride 30 adjacent to another car seat or in a three across situation where that design being a little bit narrower and straighter may help puzzle next to another seat. It has some other differences from Graco bases. The main one being that it lacks a built-in lock-off system that would be here on the Graco Snug Ride 35 infant car seat base. The Graco Snug Ride 30 infant carrier is compatible with both bases so if you do buy the Snug Ride 30 and opt to get a second base for another vehicle, you could elect for that Snug Ride 35 base to get that lock off that may be handy if you are installing in a vehicle seating position that does not have the lower latch system anchors, uh, such as a middle seating position in some vehicles or an older vehicle that does not have the anchors at all. The latch anchors that I mentioned can be found in most newer vehicles. Often they have a little dot with a symbol on it to let you know that the anchor is present and where it is. This is the latch attachment on the Snug Ride 30. Basically you take the attachment, which is a hook in this case, you locate that lower latch anchor, which is a bar. Sometimes it is readily apparent. In this case it is a little bit recessed and downward in this 2011 Chevrolet Volt electric vehicle. And then you just simply put the hook on the bar and pull it tight. Make sure that you are on the bar securely and then you would tighten the system up by finding the strap that is used to adjust the tightness and then you would push down on the base while pulling the strap tighter like this. And once you have removed all of the slack, hopefully, you have a good installation which is verified by seeing if you can move the base more than an inch side to side or an inch front to back and that is done when you grab the base and give a modest tug where the latch system or seat belt is routed. In this case it is barely moving at all, less than probably a quarter of an inch. It is quite secure. Front to back it is not moving at all so this is a very good installation using the latch system. There is an angle indicator on the base that you can see here. Green is good, red is incorrect, and you want it in that green zone for newborns to make sure they get the appropriate recline once they are in the carrier. Speaking of the carrier, let's put it into the base and it clicks right in as you can hear without an issue and there's a handle on the back of the base that can be used to release it. The system works very well. You can see the red handle that you simply squeeze to release. And we will drop it back into the base again. You can hear it click in, no problem. And inside the carrier I have the Huggable Images newborn doll. It is roughly the size of a typical full-term newborn, around seven pounds. And the harness system fits this doll quite well. Let's take a look at these lowest harness strap slots, which are right about at the level, maybe a hair below the level of the shoulders on this newborn doll, which is quite good. And there are multiple settings. If I remove the support cushion that comes with the Snug Ride 30, perhaps you can see the additional harness strap slot settings where you would re-thread the harness straps upward as the baby grows taller keeping the harness straps at or below the level of the baby's shoulders as they grow while they are rear facing. But overall, the harness system is very tight. There are adjustments on the hip straps and for the crotch strap. There are a couple of settings and loops on the straps such that you can make it even tighter for a smaller baby. This seat is rated down to four pounds we do have the Huggable Im Images 4-pound preemie doll that is typical of a low birth weight baby. However, uh, this lowest harness strap slots on this model were a little bit too tall for that doll. 
uh, Graco's research finds that infants that are of that low birth weight down to four pounds do typically fit in this harness system due to the low distance between the innermost crotch strap setting and the lowest harness strap slots. Uh, but unfortunately our doll was not a good demonstration of that so you would have to confirm that fit uh, with the typical um, newborn and if it does fit securely and if the harness straps are at or below the level of the premature infant's shoulders then it would be fine to use if you can tighten it up correctly. We had no issues getting the harness system to be tight enough on the premature doll. The only issue was that that doll had a little bit low torso height and did not come up to the level of those lowest harness strap slot settings. Otherwise, the Graco Snug Ride 30 works very well for larger babies, closer to seven pounds. Um, typical full-term newborns fit extremely well in this harness system. So that is a preview of the Graco Snug Ride 30 infant car seat. Please check out our full review at www.carseatblog.com.